What is going on everybody? It's Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire and welcome to a video every day in February. This particular day in February, as you can see behind me, there's no snow. It's actually double digits. I could probably get away with a t-shirt. It is gorgeous outside. So hopefully this weather keeps up, although the, the trend in the weather forecast is definitely some cold weather is on its way. Um, what's going on today? Well, mostly going to be order pulling again, uh, you know, that seems to be the norm every day I have to pull orders. Didn't really get out and source a whole bunch, but we also need to make a quick trip to Staples and then I'll probably drop some stuff off at Canada Post, but Staples, potentially we're gonna find a chair out there for the uh, the new eBay room set up with the desk and all that stuff. So hopefully we can find a chair. If not, there might be some more options. All right, so we're just out front of Staples here. I'm gonna go in, look for a chair, I'm willing to spend about $200 um, max. My wife did mention to me yesterday, there's a, couple chairs in the basement at Tranquility. I don't remember seeing them. She said they're just they're just office chairs, but they're not on wheels or anything like that. So that's an option that would be free. Probably the best option to be honest. But you know, I do have a budget here. So if we go in, can find something decent for around the $200 point, I'd be happy with that too. I do think this chair would be perfect for about, you know, it's, it is a little bit <laughs> 220. It's a little bit much, but you know, it's padded. It's nice enough. I think we'll get this one. So they're just gonna pull it down for me. Uh, I'm actually gonna get a gray one. So yeah, it should be okay. Uh, I think it'll fit in my car too. She showed me the box. If it doesn't, I could have it shipped to my house, but it's fairly thin. So I don't really see it being an issue. So gonna, she's gonna uh, go pull it down right now and then we'll see if it fits in the car, I guess. Good news. It fits, so we're gonna bring that home and get it set up. Um, I was thinking I might have to ship it home, but this particular box wasn't too bad. And you can see I get the black and gray. I also found this. Okay, so this is just a little stand. The other day, my wife ordered a Google review sign off of a, basically off an Instagram ad, but it was cool. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. It's like a little sign that has like a QR code that you can scan, go straight to Google review or you can tap it and it does through NFC or something like that. It goes right to your Google review. Long story short, uh, it didn't come with a stand. So we were just trying to figure out where to mount it. It does work. We registered it. You tap it, it'll go straight to Google review for tranquility, or you can scan the QR code and does the same thing, goes straight to Google review. So which is what, what you want, right? Or what we're looking for. But not having a stand, it shows a stand in the pictures when you buy it. She bought it, so I don't know if she clicked through and, and wasn't paying attention or if that's just how they ship them out. But regardless, I think this is gonna be a good option. We're gonna just remove the little thing inside and then stick it. It's got like uh, little stickers on the back, uh, like 3M type stickers. So I'm gonna stick it right to this and it'll sit on the desk and I'll send, I'll, maybe I'll put a picture up right now. By the time I'm done editing this, it should be already up on the desk. So I'll put a picture of what it looks like now right here. And uh, yeah, kind of happy to find this for $12 in Staples, even though we were just looking for the chair. All right, we have a Depop sale. Now I remember picking this sweater up. It says it's on the rack, so we'll take a we'll take a look here. I remember picking this sweater up because I found three sweaters that day at Salvation Army in uh, St. Thomas, and they were all on sale, five dollars a piece, all the sweaters. So this was one of them. It's a band, and I'm not really familiar with the band. I did check them out after I found this sweater just because they were uh, grouped with some stuff that I did like. Okay, it's Previs. I don't know how to pronounce that or anything, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I listened to it. It's sort of more alt-rock, alt, alt -rock, maybe a little bit electronic. It was pretty neat. Um, so I found this with a bullet for my Valentine sweater, which was a, I think a size large, and a bear tooth disease sweater, which I gifted to my wife and she loves uh but so this sold for or sorry yeah yes so this sold for 30 dollars getting getting a little confused there talking about bear tooth um this sold for 30 dollars usd i'll throw the conversion up i haven't checked it out yet but i assume it's pretty good it's probably getting close to you know high 30s 40 bucks so pretty nice for this one and uh let's get it shipped out this one is a depop sale so i do have to ship it with stein express but let's get it shipped out so this Depop sale is going United States Postal Service Select to Minnesota, and it costs about $10 and change. All right, we got a couple of eBay orders here to pull. Um, yeah, 
think about where this bin was going to be because we've moved stuff around obviously but this is a, a bundle on ebay whoops, which i had the buyer reach out to me yesterday and say hey how do i combine orders so i can ship them together and i explained them how to do it uh, where you just ask them to make so what i do anyway i don't know if this is the right thing to do or not i just always say um make offers on the items you like i can accept them you know if i think that they're fair and then i can invoice you with combined shipping so this is a cannibal corpse t-shirt that was item one in the bundle and then uh so then you just send them an invoice they pay the invoice you can adjust shipping you know so i just combine the shipping i'm going to ship this in a box so i charged them 12 bucks for the two items instead of i think it was going to be it was going to cost them like 18 dollars or something the other way and the other thing i did pre-pull this yesterday i just kind of found it in the bin because i knew they were going to be going out today but it's this russell's athletic vintage hat so they bought the cannibal corpse from the wholesale buy and then i've had this hat for quite a while uh so long that i don't remember if i pulled it from the bins or bought it at goodwill but you know i'll throw up on the screen what i got for each of them i think it was 40 bucks for the shirt and i think maybe 17 for the hat but i will throw the correct numbers up but let's get these both shipped out in a little box so what i'm going to do here this is the uh, box i normally ship a hat in anyway i think this one is eight by four and a half uh eight by six and a half no wait yeah eight by six and a half by four and a half I think that's right if not I'll, i will throw the right numbers up on the screen it is pretty early in the morning uh so yeah i'm gonna put the hat on the bottom or sorry that's how early it is i'm gonna put the, the shirt on the bottom hat on the top i'm not gonna add any packing paper this time and this is like a a, a, a floppier dad hat so you can bend it a little bit we don't want to bend the bill that's it they're gonna ship together just like that i'm gonna combine the shipping and we'll get this shipped out all right so we got it all boxed up this is going canada post expedited to Hamilton, Ontario. It costs $8.50. That's combined shipping. It would have cost them, I think, something like $18 if I didn't combine shipping. I went up charging them at 12 because I wasn't sure how much it was going to weigh together. So I'm still making a couple dollars on shipping, but happy to get these two out the door today. All right, so we have another pair of women's jeans, and they should be in the women's jeans bin. I think they're a pair of, let's see, yeah, they're right on top. I just listed these not too long ago, or I think so anyway. Uh, they're the Buttonfly Lucky Jeans, okay? Uh, didn't sell for a lot of money. I did take a best offer on uh, these. This was an eBay sale, I guess. Let's just toss this bin back up. Throw it up on the screen. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it, it wasn't too much, but uh, we'll get these ones shipped out. So we got the jeans all packed up. This is gonna go $8.55, United States Postal Service lightweight package all the way to Texas. All right, so we had another eBay sale. And these are a pair of Crocs, and they sold for the high 30s, which is pretty good for Crocs, but they're a little special. I don't know, they must be in one of the bins here. I feel like Crocs would be in here. All right, they're these ones. So it's a wedge. Yeah. Okay, so these sold for, like I said, I'll throw it up on the screen, high 30s. So it's got like the little bit of a, what do you call that? I'm sure there's somebody screaming at, screaming at the screen right now. That's clearly a blank. I think it's a wet, it's not a platform because a platform would just be lifted. I think it, that is a wedge, what that's called. But regardless, these are Crocs. Uh, would have picked these up probably at the Goodwill bins for next to nothing. We'll get them all boxed up in a box like this. Get them shipped out here on eBay. So we got these ones in a box. Now I like to give them a little shake test. You can hear they're moving around. So in this case, I've already got a little bit of packing tape in here. Hear that? Nothing. That's exactly, exactly what we want here. So we're gonna get these guys taped up uh, and shipped out. There we go. Tape's not want, tape's not wanting to cooperate, but. There we go. So let's get a label printed for this one and we can get them shipped out, but nice, nice and firm in there. All right, got these ones all boxed up. They're going United States Postal Service Parcel Select through Stallion Express for about $11 all the way to Los Angeles, California. You can hear no rattle. It's not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to do that. It's not the end of the world if it rattles. I'm just trying to make them 
arrive secure, have somebody not complain about the way they're shipped. And that's, in my opinion, the proper way to do it. Just put enough filler in there so it's not gonna be shaking around like crazy. All right, so we just listed these shoes this morning on Poshmark.ca, Poshmark.com, eBay, and Depop, and they sold right away, or like today, same day at least, a couple hours later on Poshmark.ca. There are these Converse right here. Okay, they're like the, a little bit thicker. I don't know what you call this, this exact style, to be honest, but uh, these came from the Goodwill bins. I picked up a whole bunch of pairs of Converse, mostly all in the same size. These ones are definitely um, not like the regular Chuck Taylors. Everything's more padded. They're definitely, I don't know if it's more of a, an actual skateboard shoe or something, uh, but regardless, these sold for $30 uh, on Poshmark. Pretty good. That definitely was an offer. So even though they were just listed, Posh Sidekick usually sends out offers daily. These must have got sent out because they sold for 30 bucks. I think they were listed a little higher than that, but still happy with a quick sale on these Converse from the Goodwill bins. All right, as always on Poshmark, it's going Canada Post, expedited parcel, buyer pay shipping, and these ones are going all the way out to uh, Canloops, British Columbia. All right, we have another Poshmark CA, so Canadian Poshmark sale. Now this one is weird because we are already just about midway through uh, February. Uh, we're in the double digits anyway. So these are a pair of snowmen, or four, not a pair. There's four snowmen glasses here. Now I picked these up thinking they would sell because these vintage glasses were selling well a couple years ago. And I've just sat on them. I've had offers, had all kinds of things. Actually, I even took these on a Christmas show on, on Instagram with some friends and they didn't sell. So I got an offer for these for $25. I just decided to take it. I've been sitting on them for a couple years. Happy to see them go. They are really cool. They're in the original box here. Don't want to flip them around too many times and let them slip out. But I think they're 90s potentially. Mame USA. Uh, yeah, they're cool. Not making a ton of money on these. I probably paid. I know I got them at Goodwill. I don't know what I paid for them at this point. Probably four or five dollars. So I'm still making money. Not as much as I hoped to. I probably was thinking I was going to get like forty dollars for these, but didn't happen. Still happy to get twenty five dollars on Poshmark. All right, so I figured out everything with a chair. I figured out, you know, how to adjust the height and all that stuff. I can't figure out how, why it's the whole thing leans forward a little bit. I don't know if it just needs to break in a little bit or what. But anyway, it's working. I think it's a pretty good height for this desk. This is I'm filming this on my phone, but normally I'd be using my laptop, so it'd be in front of me and I'll have to figure out the height and everything. But I, I'm pretty happy with it. it. It feels pretty good. The desk is at a, a nice height where I can work. Um, you know, I do think everything will be fine right here. Like see, off to the side, I've got a little monitor set up there that I plan on using. Got my computer. I think this room overall will wind up being really good for me. And it just, I think it just gives me a nicer background to, you know, not nicer, it's just shoes and clothing and stuff like that. But you know, when I'm doing the, the live streams and stuff like that, I think it just will be a better feel of for reselling for me in general. And it just give me uh, a little bit more motivation to, to work from this room hopefully so you know the other thing sitting at the, our kitchen table they're like bar chairs so like sometimes my legs are just dangling if i'm sitting all day listening or doing something so having my feet on the floor in a comfortable chair uh, with a nice space in front of me i think will help a lot all right thank you guys so much for watching if you like videos like this please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing for more content we'll see you tomorrow